Before we dive into how to use the story map for sprint planning and backlog refinement, we're going to explore how the Jira data you may be used to seeing on the backlog is presented on the user story map. Lining the top of the user story map are your team's Jira epics that appear on your backlog. The Jira epics are ordered left to right based on their ranking in your team's backlog. Beneath each of the Jira epics from your team board are the Jira issues that live on your team's backlog. The swim lanes that appear on the user story map are the sprints from your team's backlog. For Kanban teams, you'll see the version from the Jira project your board lives within. The estimation statistics displayed on the swim lane are pulled directly from the estimation statistics configured for your team's board. If your team have configured story points, for example, the story map would show story points. On the story map view, you can visualize up to four levels of issue hierarchy from a third level of hierarchy to subtasks on your issues. The third level of hierarchy on the story map is an optional extra layer of initiatives above your epics that help your team and stakeholders understand the scope of work and how the features being worked on now contribute to the broader product vision. You can nominate the project, issue type and link type that determines the relationships between the issues you nominate for this layer and the epics on the board. Now you understand the story map view, it's from here you can create new epics, issues, sprints and versions directly on the story map with the confidence that all changes made on the user story map are reflected on your team's agile board in Jira in real time. Conversely, any changes made on the team's board in Jira will also automatically be reflected here. The data sync is two-way and in real time, so there is always a single source of truth in your story map. 